Hello guys, welcome to this third episode of the Build a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core. In my previous episode, I started the hands-on project in Visual Studio 2019 from scratch by building an ASP.NET Core 3.1 Web API project from empty project template. In this episode, I will explain this pre-existing SQL Server database table structure. I will build the project from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones. So it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing the current ones. The essential links and scripts you will find in the video description. I will also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. And just a coincidence, tomorrow there will be a .NET conference in the United States which will formally announce the release of .NET 5 and ASP.NET 5 which will be a unification of ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET or the .NET framework and .NET Core but this project will have little impact in the process of migrating, migrating it to ASP.NET 5 which I promise to have it done by the end of this series and um, I will put the course, the source code in the GitHub at the final uh, tutorial finishes. Okay, let's switch over to studying the SQL Server database table structure and in that and in this table structure, uh, by the end of the lecture, we shall know the database table, the customer and order table structure using SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. So I will be now switching over to the SSMS. So in this lecture, I will be talking about the database that I have prepared for this project, you know. So I have opened up the SQL Server Management Studio and I have got the connect to server dialog and this is my server type is database engine and my server name is this with Windows authentication. I'll click on connect to connect to the server, SQL Server. So this is Object Explorer on the left hand side. It's pegged up and this version of SQL Server Management Studio is SQL Server Management Studio version 17.1. All right. So if you have got any other forward version, that will also be all right. But I am using this one. So click on OK. Now on the database nodes, if I expand, I have already created this web API database, which is exclusively for this project. And I've already created the tables and dbo.customer table and dbo.order table and some stored procedures. Okay, so these are the stored procedures, some of the stored procedures that will be used in this ADO.NET project because I will not be using Entity Framework Core, instead ADO.NET and I have told you a little bit about the um, comparative study between the two. So this is the customer table. Now this customer table has got these columns, ID, this primary key, int not null, and this name, address, telephone, and email. So these are the data types. So if you right click and click on the design view, you can always change the table structure. You can add or remove columns from this. All right. So I will put a I mean resource from where if you don't have the SQL Server Management Studio, where you can download it from. And so these are the data type, column name, data type, and allow nulls. So ID column is the, you cannot allow null. And I have allowed null because I'm going to handle it from the front end, the client side and server side validation for any null values. So it is always a good practice to keep on allowing null, all right? And then for the keys, 
is the primary key customer and there are no other constraints or triggers or index so you can click there nothing is coming up so only the customer table with the primary key and is order table okay so i've talked about the order table earlier that you know order table customer to order table is a um, one to many relationship one customer can have many orders more than one order but one order is only associated with one customer so this is the customer id which is a foreign key and description and order cost so order cost is money and description is n voucher and there is the foreign key primary key order and foreign key now if you like to see um, how to script and what is the definition of this foreign key you can create to a new query editor window So this is the use web API DB that is the database go order table this with check add constraint foreign key FK order customer foreign key customer ID customer ID is the foreign key so this order table is the many side of that relationship and references dbo.customer ID on update cascade and delete cascade so delete cascade and update cascade means if there is no customer associated with a particular order and if you are deleting a particular customer which has got an order so all the order corresponding orders will also be deleted so there will be no often order without any customer okay and that here holds valid for update as well as delete okay update delete right um, so a bit about the stored procedures this is a crud so stored procedures um, I can put a link about learning more about the what the stored procedure is but these are the stored procedure for current operation dbo.sp delete customer sp delete order sp delete insert into customer sp insert into order sp means it stands for a prefix for stored procedure as a good practice then select customer select customer by id so if you uh, we'll do a little more detailed study in our next lecture for now it will be okay uh, so see you in the next lecture